Hi there, the following video will solve question 3 part B of the OCR Core 3 Maths January 2008 class paper. The question asks us to solve the beta between 0 and 180, the equation tan beta equals 7 cot beta. Let's remind ourselves that what we're doing is finding beta, a, an angle between 0 and 180 that solves this equation. Now, Remember I said that when you're solving trigonometric equations, it's best to get every expression in terms of sine theta, cos theta, or tan theta, because they're the functions that are on your calculator. I've got cot beta here. I need to get rid of that and convert it into another sine, cos, or tan that I know. Well, let's launch straight into the question. I've got tan beta is equal to 7 cot or beta. Now you'll remember that cot beta is 1 over tan beta. That's its definition. So tan beta must equal to 7 multiplied by 1 over tan beta, which tidies up simply to 7 divided by tan beta. So I've got tan beta equals 7 over tan beta. Multiply both sides by tan beta to remove tan beta from the denominator. So I'll get on the left-hand side, tan squared beta is equal to 7. Now I need to take square roots of both sides here to solve. On the one hand, this is where people might go wrong, tan beta must equal the square root of 7. Or, do not forget when taking square roots there is a positive and negative answer. On the other hand, tan beta could equal the negative square root of 7. You must remember this potential solution here or you will drop marks. When taking the square roots of both of both sides of an equation, there is a positive answer and a negative answer. Let's go about trying to solve for beta. Beta must be equal to the inverse tan of root 7. And if we work out the inverse tan of root 7, we get 69.3. So beta must equal 69.3 degrees. Uh, or on the other hand, beta is equal to the inverse tan of the negative of root 7, which when we work it out on our calculator is minus 69.3 degrees. So, beta is either this or this. Now, we want beta between 0 and 180. This is certainly a solution. This currently isn't. To find what other solutions for beta there could be, we always have to draw our graphs out to find what other solutions match the ones we found. Now, doing some algebra, when we were playing around with this equation here, we found that it was equivalent to solving that equation and that equation. So instead of trying to draw these graphs, why not draw the tan graph and see where it equals root 7 and minus root 7. So let's have a quick sketch of the tan graph here. The tan graph looks something like this. That should be 90, that should be minus 90 and it goes up here to 180 and comes down here to minus 180. The tan graph looks something like that between minus 180 and 180. Okay, firstly, when beta is equal to 63.9, let's draw that in with a line. 63.9, sorry, 69.3 is somewhere here. If we found what other values um, that matches on the tan graph, we would see it matches here but nowhere else in the range 0 to 180. What about minus 69.3? Well, that's somewhere here, minus 69.3, and that's outside the range. Beta is a negative number. It's not between 0 and 180. However, we can see by drawing our line across that we would also get a solution here of the same value. Now, if that's minus 69.3, it's 69.3 back from the 0, so it must be 69.3 back from this 180. So the other solution for beta, beta must be equal to 180 minus 69.3, which we would get 111 to three significant figures. So therefore, for our examiner, the final solutions are beta is either equal to 69.3 degrees or 100 and 11 degrees to three significant figures. Thank you very much.